Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today I wanna to share with you a little tip for making your skin tones look a little bit better. This is a technique that's really simple, but I find myself using it from time to time. And I figure, you know what? It's, it's about time I shared it with y'all. About time I shared it with y'all. Okay, here's how it works. We have this nice shot of this very hip looking person, you know, hanging out by the graffiti, looking out into the distance, adjusting your hat like you do. But let's say we want to add a little bit of style to this. I'm going to load one of the LUTs from our Delight Pack. This is a collection of six subtle looks designed just to add some, add some style to whatever shots that you have, kind of created with you know, family and cute, cute kids and people in mind. I want to try a couple of these out to stylize this footage. Using the LUT browser in DaVinci Resolve 15, I can just mouse over and see what each one is doing to the image. And I like that one, so I'm just going to double click on it. This is kind of a nice, lifted look, kind of brings some softness. But one thing I don't like is that her skin tones feel a little bit washed out. Just her skin looks a little bit flat. So what I'm gonna do is add a serial node before my LUT. I'm gonna call this skin. And I'll go down to my eyedropper tool here and where it says HSL, I'm gonna scroll down to 3D and I'm just gonna click on her face right here. What that's gonna do is add this color to our qualifier panel. And if I click this, this little magic wand here, we can see a highlight of what's being selected. And the idea here is I want to make a selection of just her skin so that I can adjust that separate from the rest of the image. And to help with my selection, I can just click a couple more times at various places until I feel like her skin is pretty well selected. It doesn't have to be perfect. Add a little bit of her arm there. And now that I have her skin mostly selected, I can go down to my matte finesse controls and roll up on clean black, roll up on clean white, and that will give us a pretty good selection. And depending on how subtle we are with our corrections, the selection might be good enough. If you're doing more of an extreme adjustment, you're gonna to have to make your selection a little bit cleaner. But maybe what I'll do is switch my tool to minus mode and click some of the things that I don't wanna select. And the more subtle I am with this correction, the less crazy I have to be with this selection. I might just clean my black a little more. There we go. So it's flickering a little bit, but I don't think we'll be able to notice it with the minimal tweaking we're gonna be doing. I'll turn off my highlight. And now I have just the skin selected. So what I'm gonna do is go to my custom curves and I'm just gonna adjust my curve here for my skin. Real quick, I'm gonna go back to my qualifier and turn off show paths so that those aren't on my image. And I can make a little contrast curve here. And what, what, I, and what I wanna do is just grab a grab a piece of this curve towards the middle and move it up and down and see what it does to the skin, okay? So I feel like that looks a little better, bringing it down a little bit. Then I'll grab one kind of in the middle here and move it up and down until I feel like it makes that skin look a little bit more interesting. Something like that. Same thing for up top. Maybe way up top we'll add a little bit of contrast. But I'm pretty much just playing with the skin until I feel like it has kind of that roundness and that depth that you want. So now, Let's turn off the skin, turn it on and off. And depending on the look you're going for, this might be a little bit better. But now we have some much more, so now we have skin that's a little bit more defined. You can kind of see the curves and stuff a little bit better. And if that's what you're going for, that's a great easy way to do it. So here's before and here's after. It also brings a little bit more detail here into her hair. Another thing I might do just for safety is add a window to my qualifier so that I can make sure that we're just selecting this part of, of the clip that we want. So here we go, here's the shot before, here it is with the stylized LUT and with the skin adjustments. So pretty easy, pretty simple, but hopefully will help you in your color grading adventures. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading tutorials and things of that nature, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.